King Aegon the Conqueror had two children by his two sister wives, his firstborn son Anise with his sister Queen Rhinus, and his secondborn son Maegor with his sister Queen Visenya. Like his parents, Anise became a dragon rider with Quicksilver being his mount. When Aegon I eventually died, Anise succeeded him as the second king on the Iron Throne. The conquest was still within living memory, however, and many still chafed under Targaryen rule, and saw the death of Aegon I as an opportunity to throw off their rule. Several localized rebellions therefore broke out at the beginning of Aenys's reign, such as the insurrection of the Vulture King in the Red Mountains along the border with Independent Dawn, but these uprisings were ultimately put down, not really due to Aenys's leadership, but capable local rulers such as House Tarly, among others. The Targaryens had incestuously married brother to sister for generations, whenever possible, to keep the bloodline pure, in the custom of their Valyrian ancestors, which the faith of the Seven in Westeros considered an abomination. For that matter, Aegon I broke not only the faith's rules against incest, but its rules against polygamy, as he was married to both of his sisters at the same time. The faith wasn't in much position to challenge the victorious Targaryen army after the conquest, or their massive dragons, but Aegon I was wise enough to tread lightly with the faith. Both sides tacitly agreed that the Targaryens' incestuous marriages were a relic of their past, which would soon fade. Aegon I didn't intend for future generations of his new dynasty to continue to have incestuous marriages, and in return, the faith didn't press the matter for the remainder of his life. Aegon I eventually died and was succeeded by his elder son, Aenys. However, later in his reign King Aenys tactlessly wed his daughter to his own son. The incestuous marriage of Princess Rhyna and Prince Aegon broke the Targaryens' prior promise to the faith, which could stand the abomination no longer. Outraged by the marriage, the new High Septon led the denunciation of the Targaryens, and the military order of the Faith of the Seven, the Faith Militant, rose up in open revolt. King Aenys proved to be an utter weakling in the face of the revolt and was completely overwhelmed. As the Faith Militant attacked lords that still supported him across the Seven Kingdoms, one particularly zealous force of the Order even managed to scale the walls of the Red Keep, which by then was still under construction, and would have killed Aenys and his family if not for the intervention of the Kingsguard. Frightened, Aenys cowardly fled King's Landing entirely and retreated to the Targaryen fortress refuge at Dragonstone, where he soon died of cramps brought on from the stress. Aenys was then succeeded ahead of his children by his younger half-brother Maegor, Aegon I's only child by Visenya. Maegor was his brother's exact opposite, a highly skilled warrior and brutal tyrant, quickly earning him the name, Maegor the Cruel. Maegor ultimately died childless, however, and Aenys's youngest son succeeded to the throne as King Jaerys I, hence all subsequent Targaryen monarchs descended from Aenys, not Maegor.